Well, obviously, she's my daughter. You guys know that. And she's um, part alien. We can say that. She, she's, you've seen the hair color, right? Raging beautiful. Raging beautiful <laughs> Brit. Is she going to keep aging like six years every two weeks? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Yes. I know. Kind of. <laughs> Still going through that rapid growth I, I know. Part. I love when they're like, she's six and now she's gorgeous and 20. <laughs> and you're her mom. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So is she going to be like a spirited daughter or rebellious or is she kind of the quiet introspective Well, kind? what's so great for me this year is that uh, it, it's a strange position for my character to be in because she is my child but she's, she's an adult now. You know, she's not, she's not like a young girl. So yeah, there are definite moments where her and I go head to head and I think also Anne is someone who is just going to relentlessly defend her. Because there's a lot that happens also between her and Seychelles. Yeah. I, can, I can tease that. Are they friends you can see or enemies? We, we're friends, yeah. yeah. And you know, we get separated in the beginning of the season and I end up with her and I think Lourdes feels a, a sense of you know, protecting her. Yeah. Because she, you know, she birthed her, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, both of them are coming into this new individuality together on their own little journey. So, well, we kind of saw at the end of the last season that um, Lexus had taken the kind of the, the I don't know what you call them, aliens little right. eye Which things is why out of Lourdes her. is so loyal to her. Right. Yeah. So is Lourdes kind her. of back in her right mind at this point? <laughs> Mostly. I mean, she. This year's so fun. Right? Yeah, Lourdes is. Um, she's 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 come back to her faith a lot, um, but in a new and kind of evolved way that uh, has been affected by all of this. It's maybe not the same kind of spirituality she turned to before, but one that suits the world she has been affected by, it. and and she's very very adamant about that this year and it's off putting it's off putting to some people um, with how she's so she knew she is. Yeah, yeah. Lourdes is probably one of the most radically different characters, would probably. you say? Out of all of us. Yeah. How much fun is that to play? It's cool. It's I mean it's it's always nice to come to something with a fresh perspective. Um, especially when you know why it's changed that way, but it could have gone so many different ways and to go that way it's like okay. All right, I, I see it. <laughs> it's cool, yeah. This year's been great because we showed up and you know we have a new showrunner and um, everything. Everything that we'd all known as characters just got completely um, rearranged. And it was great because we get, I think you guys know this, we get all separated. I mean, I'm off, I'm off with Umpo. Uh, you're with Scarlet. I mean, and we're ben. all separate. We, we all, and then we all end up coming back together. And it was also no, interesting just to shoot it as a cast. Cause we're no, we normally, like I normally have all my stuff with Seychelles and Noah and all my stuff now was with Umpo and then it was with Scarlet. So it was great for everybody. It was the, it was the, for me, I think, I don't know about you, the most different in terms oh, for of me too, yeah. the season. Yeah. And I think it's our most exciting season, but maybe I say that every year because I just feel <laughs> that way. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. still, like, it's so different. But this feels like the most, most elaborate. I think that's the word. Do you guys get your own badass moments at all this, this coming season? In different ways. Like, I definitely do. They, they, yeah, they're like, here's your stethoscope. They threw that, and they're like, here's the right. <laughs> And um, and that's kind of that's 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 fun for me. That was real fun for me. I got to Anne kind of comes into her own. She stops being sort of this you know middle of the road character and, and decides, okay, her anger sort of takes takes the lead. She's usually so level headed, and this time she's just she's a woman who you know you don't want to mess with because this is her baby. Now her daughter has been separated from her, and she's gonna find her way back to her. And that was so much more fun to play. And how does Tom deal with that? With the, the, oh, the kid? Yeah, it was so great because Noah and I, we got to get into some like serious relationship fights this year, you know, where you're like talking over each other, and there's all this resentment and you make up. And it was good. It was, it was probably the most dialogue I've had this year as well. And I got to be physical, and at some point, I also got to be involved in the process of how we're going to take on a battle. I, I'm now one of his. I don't know, I'm one of his not colleagues, but I'm I'm right there with him. I'm no longer just his you know, romantic partner. And you, how would describe you? Oh, badass moments. Um, Lourdes, 
She's definitely making her voice heard this year for in, in terms of her faith. I mean, she used to do that, in, you know, in like a subdued kind of, uh, you know, maybe a little more humble way. <laughs> but this, you know, she's so, you know, enamored by what she's believing right now. And I think with some people, she, she like kind of comes up to their face and is like, this is my way or, you know, and that's the only way that I'm going to serve you know, and, and we're not close this year we're not close and, and it creates a rift with Lourdes and some other characters um, which is interesting too and we bounce back from that, and yeah. from that in its own way there's a lot that happens with Lourdes this year right? you can tell we're sort of dancing around it yeah, yeah. we don't know what we can say so we don't want to get in trouble right. we're like children yeah. we don't want to get in trouble with other parents well, the second mass was always kind of nomadic, and then they tried to settle down in Charleston. So where are they now in their journey and the fight with the Espanyol? Well, so in the beginning of the season, we're about to approach Charleston, and all of a sudden we get separated, and now you've seen, um, we, get, we get ambushed, and you see Noah and Will are, are somewhere. Um, I am now on the road. I'm looking for my daughter. They actually... We're in like I, a haven of an old Chinatown. A sanctuary. It's super it's cool set, cool. yeah. They are in this really ethereal world that you can't tell what is real and what's fantasy. Um, Maxim is in... I think we can tease this guy. Yeah, we can. This is our first like. No, it's it's a. Okay. He's in like this. A reform military school for children. It's very. It's very. You know. Holocaust. Yeah. <laughs> and then who else? Um, Doug um, Jones. The Spinny is still part of our. The Volm. Yep. The Volm. And then who, uh, the Volm are on their own, but they're still working with us. And Drew is off with is off on his own as well. They're in. The, he's in the camp. And Ma Maggie's with you guys. Yeah. Where's Pope? <laughs> with uh, Tom, right? Yes. With Tom. Yeah. See, we didn't shoot any of it together. Yeah. Like, he's with Tom. They get. He's, he's with Tom. But Tom's alone for a while, okay. and then he hit. Oh, he and Drew get reunited, and then they get reunited back with. Wow. So everybody just went to the four winds a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. And then they slowly, gradually brought us back together. Okay, so it's a big turn. Okay. Good. Can you can you just talk about in general about being here at WonderCon and what it means to kind of engage with fans and other conventions that you've done? And you can I want to know we're a little yeah yeah I wanted to know that um, was too. This I've ever since I, I met him at my first expo in uh, MCM Expo in London and um, I don't know I think it's just it's, it's really fun to, to just kind of like celebrate what we've done you know after it's all said and done and um, to meet people who are actually super into it and who have theories about things and who are just uh, you know people you, you've never thought about before and, uh, it's, and the, the, the amount of passion that people have for just stories here is really cool <laughs> yeah absolutely sorry